Early voting starts today in Kentucky. But the latest projections show very few voters will actually cast ballots. Local 12's Christian Hauser joins us live from the Kenton County Government Center in Covington with what you need to know about early voting. Good morning, Christian. Good morning, everyone. Early voting runs today through Saturday, and voters will be choosing their party's nominee for statewide offices, and every county will have at least one polling location open. Now, if you plan to cast your ballot, you do not need an excuse to vote early. Just head to your poll location and cast your ballot. Now, even with the easy access to voting, Kentucky Secretary of State Michael Adams tells me he's not expecting much of a turnout. He's only predicting about 10 percent of registered voters to come out and uh, make their choices known. Now, he's basing that forecast on the low number of absentee ballots that have been requested. He says that's an early barometer for in-person voting. Now, there's a lack of competition for the Democratic races. They only have two out of six statewide races that are contested, governor and commissioner of agriculture. Now, Democrats make up 44 percent of registered voters. Now, despite it being the gubernatorial primary, Adams says historically this election has the lowest turnout. And I want to just emphasize for folks, this is an important election. Who the governor is, is extremely important. Whatever your views, it's a very consequential office. Who the secretary of state is, these are important offices that have a lot of impact uh, on Kentuckians. And so uh, don't sit at home. Uh, don't let other people make the decision for you. Now, Kentucky first allowed no excuse early voting in 2020 because of the pandemic. Then a law was passed making the change permanent with the 2022 primary. Live in Covington, I'm Christian Hauser. All right. Thank you, Christian. Secretary of State Michael Adams says 10 percent of Kentucky's voters are disenfranchised from every primary election. That's because voters who register as independent are not allowed to vote in the primary.